and welcome to the super fun awesome happy time pedal show my name is Gabor and I thought let's do something a little bit different today let's look at this again so this is Sono by Audient uh, big thank you to the awesome people at Studio Connections here in Australia too for sending it out to me uh, you can watch a full video or full video a video I did here uh, where I sort of look at it um, as a guitar interface and I think it's marketed and primarily the idea behind it is primarily a guitarist interface so you have a uh, 12x7 uh, preamp in here, you've got an EQ section kind of like on an amp, you've got the two notes um, cabinet simulation and power amp simulation in it, uh, you've got a reamping thing, so it's, it's primarily targeted uh, towards guitar players, but I think it sounds really really cool uh, with these things, so using things like drum machines and, a, uh, uh, and synthesizers. So I should, before I even start, I should mention this is not sponsored by anyone. This is not sponsored by Arturia. There's just so happened to be two Arturia uh, products here. This is not sponsored by Audient or Studio Connections. They sent me this product um, to check out because they wanted my opinion on it. Uh, I have to send it back. I'm not keeping it. I'm not getting paid for these videos. This is purely just my opinion. Uh, yes, so um, I'm gonna start with the drum machine. So basically, most interfaces, right, will have uh, this up here, which is a, an input volume. Maybe some will have an EQ on it as well, but most of them will only have an input volume. Uh, and then, for example, this is just a kind of drum loop I kind of quickly put together. It will sound like that, which there's nothing wrong with it, um, but it's quite sort of generic right and a lot of times when people use drum machines like these or even the uh, you know sort of famous 808s and 909s and 606s and all those uh, they will use outboard gear so for example i have a, a back there i've got a um, 500 series thing that's like a tape saturation emulator um, called a color box i've got other uh, rack mount outboard gear that i use usually when i record this i run it through that or run it through plugins to kind of change the sound a little bit the cool thing about sono is you can kind of do it all in here because this pretty much has a built-in mic preamp. Um, so let's start off with this. So what you can do on channel one here, so channel two is my voice, the microphone, and channel one here, it has a little button at the back here called to valve. You push that in, you'll hear a click. And there's also that little light here. Yes, you can see that it's on. There's that little light that's on saying to valve. So what it does is it sends a signal through the valve uh, this is kind of like the input gain for the valve stage and then it goes through the EQ section and into the output. It bypasses the two notes thing and drive is uh, all about the two notes thing, so the drive knob doesn't do anything. But let's just try that. So I'm going to bring that in. I'm going to start with it off and then I'm going to bring in um, this valve preamp section uh, and just to show you how you can completely change the sound of something like drum machines for the better with that. So let's go. Let's go. That knob doesn't do anything at the moment. So that was just back to normal right at the end. So, but there's such a massive difference there. You can really change the sound and kind of give it that sort of saturation. And the coolest part is you don't have to hook up external output gear and you don't have to use plugins. So it doesn't use any, it doesn't take any power away from your computer. Now, that's one way of using it, right? The other thing you can do is um, grab a guitar cable, uh, and I'm gonna, so this goes into my patch bay here. I'm just gonna unplug that. So this is now coming straight from that, from the drum machine. And if you plug into the front here, we're now, uh, so as soon as you plug into the front here, that's a guitar input technically, it bypasses everything um, that comes in this way, right? So this knob, um, I don't think it uh, doesn't really do anything anymore. 
uh, everything goes through here. Now with this, it now also runs through the Two Notes software, which you can hopefully see on your screen now. So hopefully this is what you can see now on the screen. This is the Two Notes uh, Torpedo Remote. So this is what controls the Two Notes speaker and uh, power em emulation in, in here, right? So now, for example, if I just turn it down a bit because it's probably going to be loud. Um, if I turn it on, it'll sound completely different because it'll now run through that cabinet, right? So now this is disconnected. We're just running through that now. So this is now becoming the input gain going into the valve. So you can warm it up a bit. This is now the drive of the power amp emulation. And this is the overall volume. And you can see what it's peaking a little bit. And then I also have the EQ, right? Then I can also use um, what's on here now. So I've got, for example, this tone here. I also have the distance so I can have a bit more room sound. I also have this contour uh, um, knob here, which makes it more modern. Or well, almost a low fi vintage sounding. a bit of introduce some variation so it's not always the same uh, then uh, one of the coolest things is you can change the room and you can add a little bit of reverb so for example so the cabinet I picked uh, is a, a cabinet that has two different speakers in it, it has a, a 15 inch and a 12 inch speaker in it and it's meant for you can sort of read it up here hopefully uh, it's meant for um, uh, low tuned guitars with tons of distortion uh, now there's a lot more there's a lot of frequencies that are much lower than guitar frequencies in here, so I thought this would be quite a, maybe not a bad um, cabin to go for. So you can change a room, you can change a speaker. So for example, let's, so I've introduced a bit of variation now, so it's not always the same beat. Let's change a microphone, for example. That's got a ton of bottom end. Okay, so now let's uh, let's say like it's a bit muddy maybe, but let's change rooms and stuff. I think we can make it sound a lot better. So I'm gonna change the uh, the rooms now. Introduce some distance so you can hear a bit of the room. Yeah, that can completely change the sound of it. Now, if we change the uh, cabinet, so let's say I don't know, let's go for a I don't know one by six. Uh, so I don't I don't have that in my in my uh, uh, downloaded cabinet. So this is now we're going to use a store thing. So this is like a preview. So you can you can preview any cabinet and it just does this thing, store mode where it randomly puts silence into uh, like it just goes quiet for a little bit. Uh, so this is a completely different sound.
So you can completely alter the sound uh, of the drum machine. And just to give you a comparison, so let's, uh, hang on, let's go back to that other one, just because that, in, oh, let, actually, let, let's see. So I'm gonna quickly unplug the, um, unplug it from there so you can hear the, the, the straight signal, just to have a comparison. Versus. Or. So just to give you an idea, so you have three quite distinct, distinctively different ways of getting um, the sound out of this. So you have um, the direct sound, which you can then alter on the computer. Uh, you have the one where you run it through the valve preamp and you can really push it actually on almost two preamps. I don't have the two kind of separate preamps, but you've got this input stage and the valve input stage. Uh, or you can run it through the two notes thing. The other thing you can do, uh, if you go into the, hopefully this will work, if you go into here, you actually have a, what's called a no cab. Uh, this is the Sono software that you kind of, that controls what you're doing. Um, and that peak is just from before the drums are quite loud in here. That's for microphone. Um, the no cab bit, is, you can actually record um, everything that comes out of there uh, when you're going into here through the cabinet and without the cabinet so you can actually have two separate tracks where you record these things again watch that video uh, there's a link below um, the one that I did with the guitar for reamping so you can actually record a, a track completely dry so with the drums for example or with the synth you can record a really affected sound but you can at the same time record a dry sound and then you can blend them together or you can do things because um, that's one of the things with this uh, every sound you hear on here that you do with the two note stuff and with the preamp that's something you can't change after you record it so this is external to your um computer and your daw so uh you can't actually so you have to as you record it that's the sound that records that you're printing so you can't later on go and change your cabinet you can't do it with this um but that's basically that we can quickly should i quickly have a look okay so this is just to have a look this is now the um the synth the uh, mini brood. So again, this is just a, whatever sound was on when I last used it. Just a quick look, right? So that's just using the straight preamp. Now, if we're doing a two valve thing. Just that sounds really cool but then let's do the same thing for example now uh, and let's go into the front so again this just comes straight from uh, the mini brute and now we're going to the front here uh, and now we can use the two notes cabinet so let's use this little six inch cabinet and see what happens There's a storm out, silence. Let's go, so for example, for a, uh, for a um, mono synth, a little bit of reverb is nice. So let's go into here, let's put a little bit of room sound into it. I mean, this is just to, just to give you ideas so all the different stuff you can do with it uh, I think it's super flexible I think it's very interesting from a, not just from a guitarist point of view but generally I think this is quite a cool product so uh, 
Thank you so much for watching this. I hope this maybe gave you some ideas. And I believe this may be the very first video we've ever done on our channel with our guitars. So, but synths instead. So let me know if you want me to do some more stuff with synthesizers and pedals. So I've got this stuff. There's also some Moog stuff here. You can just see the corner of it there. That's a Moog thingy. And then there's a, uh, there's a Roland thingy over there. And there's a couple of synths in here because I, I love that stuff. So let me know if there's anything in particular you want me to do with synthesizers. This could be an ongoing thing. Uh, hopefully that gave you some ideas. Uh, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts were uh, uh, and if you do similar sort of things. Uh, yeah, big thank you to the awesome people at Studio Connections, uh, Audient Australia, for sending this out to me. Like I said, I'm not getting paid for this. I'm not keeping this thing. I uh, This has just been sent to me to check out and I like it. So uh, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment, let us know uh, how you like this and what you don't like about it or what you do like about it. And see you in the next one. Bye.